In this episode of the Azure Enablement Show, we're gonna be talking about the importance of optimization skill building. Check it out. Welcome back. My name is Aaron, and today we're going to be talking about the importance of Azure optimization skilling, both for your organization and for your own career. Be sure to stick around because we've got a cool demo for you and some fantastic resources to help you on your skilling journey toward understanding how to optimize on Azure. If you have a question, please leave it in the comment section below and be sure to smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. Joining me today are two experts in the field of optimization and skilling, Kaylin Sylvester and Megan Finney. Welcome, Kaylin and Megan. Hi, everyone. I'm Kaylin Sylvester, a Senior Product Marketing Manager on the Azure and Industry Marketing Team. And hi, I'm Megan Penny. I'm Senior Product Marketing Manager for Azure and Industry Marketing. We are so excited to share with you all the new optimization skilling tools and resources Aaron mentioned that Microsoft has to offer, and we will walk you through how to get started today. Thanks. Super excited to have you both here. Let's jump in. Kaylin, can you tell us a little bit about what optimization means in the context of Azure? Yes, thanks, Erin. So optimization is all about getting the most value out of your Azure Cloud investment. It's about minimizing unnecessary expenses and driving better ROI. And Microsoft is dedicated to helping you optimize your Azure environments with all the resources and programs and guidance and tools so that you can achieve your goals. We understand that customers want to improve reliability and security in their workloads and optimize their cloud spend so they can move faster in the cloud, accelerate business innovation without worrying about vulnerabilities in their workloads or having their cloud costs balloon out of control. And we want to help our customers facilitate a cycle of continuous improvement of their Azure workloads so they can consistently extract the maximum value from their cloud investment. I absolutely agree. Sounds like there's a lot of business value in that. What are some gains customers could actually expect? Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of business value in optimizing with Azure. Specifically, you can expect long-term gains in cloud efficiency, which comes from that accelerated deployment of new optimized workloads, and of course, developing reliable and secure Azure projects. That's incredible. Thank you so much for your insight, Kaylin. Okay, so how do customers actually learn about optimization on Azure? Megan, can you tell us a little bit more about any specific skilling opportunities that exist at Microsoft for this? Yes, Aaron, absolutely. We have curated some great resources to get you started. Our plan with those is to help you build confidence in achieving your cloud goals and to help you become more efficient and productive through a deeper understanding of successful cloud operations. To do that, we have a wide array of training in the form of learning paths and other skilling opportunities to help you confidently achieve your cloud goals. We really aim to be your guide for optimization on Azure with useful guidance like the Cloud Adoption Framework, the Well Architected Framework, and the FinOps Framework. These, along with other resources, help you throughout your journey from planning to deployment to then managing and optimizing workloads in the most cost-effective, reliable, and secure manner possible. Sounds like there's different ways that optimization exists and different ways that people can learn about it. Can we actually see some of these resources now? Yes, absolutely. Happy to share. We have various formats that I'll walk you through, including self-paced learning, virtual workshops, some gamified challenges called Cloud Skills Challenges, and a new 30 Days to Learn It Challenge. So I'll share a demo of our 30 Days to Learn It Challenge, which is, like I said, a gamified challenge for Azure optimization. Now, this 30 Days to Learn It Challenge is just that. It gives you 30 days to complete training modules or chapters that add up to about 16 hours of coursework. You'll get emails to help keep you on track and making progress and remind you to keep going. The program will help you build skills and start preparing for Microsoft certifications on Azure. And in fact, at the end of the challenge, once you complete it, you'll get a code for a certification discount um, for completing that challenge. So here on this page, you'll see that you'll select the challenge and then you'll Press begin now to get started and work through the modules. So here's some information about how it works and frequently asked questions. So I'll show you what it looks like to begin now. I certainly do agree. And we'll start learning. 
So you can see the collection um, here that has the number of modules and you'll just go and select each of these modules and go ahead and get started. This is an example of one of the first, first modules there. Next, I'm excited to share that we have another new Azure optimization resource, which is instructor-led workshops called Virtual Training Days. And we have a new Azure optimization workshop coming. And this, these are two-day workshops of about four hours a day. Our optimization virtual training day will cover core frameworks like FinOps on Azure, Cloud Adoption Framework, and the Well-Architected Framework. It will cover tools like Microsoft Cost Management and Azure Advisor. And all these workshops are loaded with demos, customer stories, use cases that will really help you understand how Azure optimization works. So check out this sign up page and see the upcoming events and different dates and time, and then register online. It's all free. This robust and proven guidance as well as products and tools are teed up to help you optimize your environments and workloads. This is fantastic, Megan. Uh, thank you for walking us through all of this. It sounds like there's just a number of different ways that people can actually learn about this. Uh, where can customers go to get started with these resources? The two next best things to do to get started are uh, First, to go to the 30 Days to Learn It Challenge page for optimization, which is available at this site, aka.ms forward slash optimization 30 DTLI. And then second, if you prefer to be in a workshop setting with an instructor leading the way, you can sign up on the Azure Optimization Virtual Training Days on the registration page by clicking the link below or type in aka.ms forward slash Azure Optimization VTD. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing. And thank you both, Megan and Kaylin, for coming on today to explain to us the importance of optimization on Azure. Uh, for all of our viewers, thank you for watching. And be sure to check out the resources below. Leave a comment if you have any questions for us. And we'll see you guys all on the next episode of the Azure Enablement Show. Mm -hmm.